Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Christian. And I'm Anthony. Hey, Christian, would you say we've had a pretty busy week so far? Yeah, it's been quite the week as far as the ongoing Devious Licks trend. Yes, the Devious Licks, the new TikTok trend that puts you in jail. That's right, Anthony. Recent events have shown that toilets and other school-owned property have been stolen. We have Tori on this scene to share some important information on the recent tragic events. It's all fun and games until the toilet gets ripped off the wall. You heard me right. The recent Devious Licks TikTok trend has become a huge problem for the school. Not the normal toilet troubles you'd imagine. Here's Dr. Stanley, our school principal, with a little more insight on how things are running. How have you handled this problem? So we attacked it on two different fronts. The first thing we did was hold kids accountable for their choices and actions. So as we were able to, we made four arrests and we held their, the students and their families um, responsible for any financial restitution. There was some damaged property and so that has to be made right. And then the custodial overtime to fix all of those things has to be paid for. And so those families and, that, and those students are gonna be responsible for it. Um, but we also wanted to celebrate on the 1,600 other kids doing the right thing that don't want this at, on their, at their school either. And so we're trying to find different ways, like student of the month and different recognitions to try and celebrate the, the kids that don't want this because we think that there's a lot more that don't want this than the ones that do. And then what else would you like students to know about this overall topic or the consequences? So apparently there's like a list of monthly versions of this and I would just encourage students to make wise choices because the choices that they make right now are gonna be the ones that influence their future and the potential jobs they are not able to get because of maybe a criminal record that they have or, or things like that. So when something's funny and in the moment and we don't really kind of think past that moment, we're doing a lot of damage to our future self. And so a lot of teenagers don't necessarily think beyond that. And so it's my job to just kind of say, hey, listen, press pause. Is this gonna be something that could potentially ruin an opportunity for you in the future? And does this affect the construction schedule for the school? Yes and no. So it's, it's more management. So it doesn't necessarily disrupt construction, but it also pulls our custodians away from things they're working on to be able to fix these issues. Thank you. You're welcome. Our next inside source is Corporal with more on this topic. So how have you handled this problem so far? So, so far we've had several incidents of uh, the de Devious Licks uh, TikTok challenge. Um, so basically what students need to know is that you're actually committing a crime. So the, the crime consists of cr criminal mischief, which is damaging property and such. And there's a value attached to that. So it's not just, you know, think you're just fooling around. You're actually committing a crime. So we've actually had several arrests here on campus of kids committing these acts. And then what would you like students to know about this overall topic and the consequences? Well, the consequences is that you could be um, suspended from school on the school level and then... Uh, you could also face criminal charges for this and be arrested. Thank you. Reporting on scene, Tori Goodman, Bulldog Beacon. This trend is truly upsetting. Now, in some better news, we have Preston here to tell you about today's lunch. Good morning, Bulldogs. For today's lunch, you can look forward to chicken BLT salads, buffalo chicken pizza pocket, and boneless chicken wings. I don't know about you, Christian, but I sure am excited for lunch today. Yeah, Anthony, that sure made me hungry. Well, that's all the time we have. Make sure you tune in next time. That's all, folks. Have a great day, Bulldogs.